The BVI Football Association's BVI FA Football Stadium project in East End Long Look is approaching the end of Stage 1. Under the contractual arrangement between BVI FA, FIFA and the Virgin Islands government, the government is required to cover the gut that runs through the land being used to house the facility. President of the BVI FA, Andy Bickerton, says the football pitch should be ready by year-end. We're coming towards the end of the... Um of stage one of it, that's the goal project one. Um, the the levelling has been done. We're waiting for the government to complete the gut on the right hand side and they've commenced work on that. The gut on the other side is uh, the wall's been completed so we've been able to uh, put in the surface on that side. So once um, once that's finished then the the pitch can go can go in. The pitch consultant from the United Kingdom is coming to the BVI the week of the 7th of September um, to test the compacting of the soil. So once that's, um, once that's done, we're hopeful that the, the pitch will go in very soon after. So our expectation is that the pitch will be in by the end of, of 2015 and available for play in 2016. Um, we're trying to meet a deadline of the end of September to complete the compacting, the earth, the earth moving, because the FIFA Development Committee meets twice a year, once in October and once in March. So if we've completed phase one of the um, goal project, the, the leveling of the field and the creation of the car park up above, then we can apply to stage two, which is putting in the actual stand. So we want to get that into the October application so we don't have to wait till March. The property being used to house the facility is being leased for a 25-year period. Funding for the football stadium project is being released in three parts from the world football governing body, FIFA. Thanks to the support of the government in this project, uh, we're now well underway with it. The first tranche of money is the leveling and clearing of the, the site. Um, and also the creation of a car park at the Upper Greenland Field. So uh, the government's commitment was to put in the, um, to cover the guts on both sides and put in the wall, which uh, they've almost completed. The actual pitch itself comes from FIFA funds as well, but they're separate FIFA funds. It's called income generation funds. So we, both of those amounts are already committed by FIFA. The Goal Project 2 has been pre-committed, but it needs to be formalized. Goal Project 2 will be the putting in of the, um, of the stand, uh, which uh, is initially sh uh, slated to be for 1,500 people. Uh, we are actually thinking right now of, of, um, of going back to FIFA and saying we want to upgrade that to 2,500, because we feel that within a short term we'll need, we'll need that kind of uh, seating. It's all going to be undercover seating. Um, it'll have dressing rooms um, and so on and so forth underneath, obviously. And um, also the offices of the BVIFA will be situated at the stadium. It also includes uh, putting in a netball stroke volleyball court um, at the lower end. Once that's completed, which we, as I say, if we can get it into the October meeting, we should be able to complete uh, that in 2016. We then apply for our third goal grant or goal project, which would then provide us with the funding to put in the, um, for the lighting. Meanwhile, a 16-member BVI women's under-17 football team left the territory on Thursday for World Cup qualifying games in St. Kitts this weekend. The BVI was grouped with host St. Kitts Nevis, Trinidad and Tobago, and Dominica. Winner of that group will go to the Caribbean Finals in Grenada, scheduled for March 2016, followed by the finals slated for Jordan in October 2017.